Hello, this is Carl James Lankford. This is my trespass on legal and general land. And this is the landscape that we're going to lose. So we pan around, there's agricultural fields at this minute. There's our farm that's going to be lost. And thanks to councillors Bob Penrose, Neil Brown, Nicholas Hodges, representing Independent, Labour and Plaid Cymru, are all in turn responsible for their votes to deny the people of Barry this lovely stretch of landscape that's going to be built upon industrial units even a four or five star hotel thanks to our trusted politicians you would think that our politicians who represent us would wish this landscape that's been farmed for thousands of years to remain in a farm state alas that's no longer going to be the case so as the bugle plays This is a wake-up call to the people of Barry, District, Bruce, Aberthaw, Cowbridge, Lantern Major, all across the Vale of Glamorgan to actually do something for once. The people of Barry were spineless and gutless to stop the destruction of woodland, our heritage, our landscape at the Five Mile Lane, wanton destruction and removal of over 500 sets of re human remains at the Five Mile Lane with no opposition from the gutless Barry people and now the people of Roos are actually going to hopefully do something. Small numbers of people but hopefully much more well organised. Okay, let's ask the question, why is agricultural land important? Well, if we don't have agricultural land, this country will be without the wonderful resource of being able to feed itself. We're just about to leave Europe, which is a godsend, but... And then we're ripping up the landscape, building on all our land, so where are we going to be able to feed ourselves? You know, we've got no land that we're able to plant crops on. Oh, how wonderful that is! Our politicians have got a wonderful foresight on the landscape, on what to do with it. Let's just keep building, building, building. Let's build more houses. Let's build more industrial estates. Who's going to be... Who's going to have the way for all to actually establish an industrial unit here and keep a business going when businesses are going through the wall, you know? You know, where are people going to be able to find the money because obviously they're going to eventually build houses here, like they are going to do on the five mile lane. We've all been hoodwinked on that. So, where's the money going to come from for people to buy the houses in the first place? You know, there's too many houses in this country as it is. Many unoccupied, millions of houses unoccupied in Britain. We're building more. As we've seen with Cowbridge, uh, the mini village or mini town outside Cowbridge, there's, they've actually put a stop on building of those houses outside Cowbridge because people don't want to buy them and the fact of the matter is without people you're going to have you're going to not have the businessmen to buy the industrial units within this landscape in the first place so where's the logic it's extremely windy today so you can't hear me saying every single word I can't I can't do anything about that, but this is the landscape of Whitelands that I'm filming over towards. About a decade ago, I discovered this amongst the many village of Whiteland here, in amongst those trees, and guess what? Apparently, apparently Legal and General are going to hand over that bit of the landscape over there to the Vale of Morgan Council, out of the goodness of their hearts. So what's the Vale of Morgan going to do with it? They don't exactly have a great track record, do they? So let's build on another medieval village. Let's just, okay, that's just the heritage, right? To, to some people, heritage isn't important. But look at all the trees that we're going to lose. Look at the landscape we're going to lose. And when you think about it, what are we losing? What are we exactly, exactly losing? Let me get my words out there. What we are losing is our future. 
No, people only think for today. They buy those washing machines, those hoovers. They chuck all their rubbish out and don't sort it. Most of our rubbish ain't recycled. People are just a massive consumer society and they're leaving all this debris for future generations. We have got to do something. I, I used to think passionately like this at the end of the 1980s. And I, we used to talk about this then. It's 30 years on, for Pete's sake, and we have done nothing. You know, the, the president of uh, the Amazon um, is saying, look, you, you Westerners, for example, you have you preach to us what we should do with our Amazon um, rainforest. You preach to us not to pull down the trees and all the rest of it. Yeah, and there you are pulling down your trees. What right have you got to lecture us? And he's got a very, very good point. The type of landscape. And this is all going to go. In fact, in fact, I've got, the, uh, uh, I've got uh, one of the, the owners of the land behind me on the tractor, and uh, he's not really interested in saving his land. Um, so, so people are protesting to stop this land being ripped up, and the, uh, the people who are renting the land ain't really interested in losing the land, which is quite. 